Welcome to our tutorial on cat settings. Katia stores its settings, such as the position of toolbars, window size, printer information, and so on. Katia stores this information as cat settings files in a folder called cat settings. It's possible for Katia to behave unpredictably, even crash. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen sometimes. You can restart Katia in order to try and fix this problem. If this doesn't work, another troubleshooting technique you can try is to delete the cat settings files from the cat settings folder. Okay, let's see how we can get to these files. Go to drive C or whatever drive you use. Select documents and settings, your login name, and the application data folder. If you don't see this folder, select Tools, Folder Options, View, and then select Show Hidden Files and Folders. Click Apply, then OK. Now you should be able to see the Application Data folder. Open it up, select Assault Systems. Here is the Cat Settings folder. Let's highlight all the files, except licensing, and press delete. In order to make it take effect, you will need to restart Katia. I'm going to pause this video and restart my Katia. Now Katia is started with its default settings. Let's close the welcome window. Now, let's say you want to change the window size, reposition the tools, or set up your printer. We'll cancel it for now. Change your background color. Let's say black. Take off the gradient in the background. Click OK. Do some customization. And so on. After you're satisfied with your changes, now you simply can create a folder, for example, inside the cat settings folder. New folder, let's call it underscore, underscore my cat set. Now I can simply highlight all the files. Right click and drag them into the folder. Select Copy here. Now all my settings are copied into, into this folder. In the future, if I have any trouble, let's say if Katia is acting unpredictably and I need to restore the default settings, I can simply replace the cat settings files with the files in this folder. I will just copy them over to the main directory. This concludes our cat settings tutorial.